Hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to learn to paint a few beautiful looking fruits using watercolors. I've drawn out these fruits on um, watercolor sketchbook and the first two are samples of what the final product will look like. So in the carrot, I am using orange uh, to add in uh, small details here and there on the carrot and some green on the uh, leaves on top. So in this style, you're going to use uh, first a lighter color and then add in a slightly darker color while the base is still wet so it can blend in with itself. You don't need to do any specific blending technique to um, get the desired effect. While that's drying, we're going to move on to the next one and create green. Uh, so in this, there's not going to be much of blending. I'm still going to be adding green haphazardly. Um, you have to just make sure that there are always some white spots that are left. And then you'll be using slightly darker green to fill in some of the areas and gaps. When you're a beginner in watercolor paintings, it's a good idea to always draw it out and do the inking using these waterproof ink. So this will make sure that um, you understand which areas need to be filled in darker and which areas need to be lighter. It makes your job slightly easier till you get really good at watercolors where you don't really need to draw out your base and you can directly just use your paints and create your objects. Now when you're doing the cucumber, you will notice that cucumbers don't have an exact color throughout. They have these uh, stripes of white, stripes of lighter greens and darker greens. So whenever you paint it, in some areas just lay your brush down flat. Make sure there are some white spaces which are left. And each time you layer up your colors, make sure that the bottom layers are still seen. Uh, this way you can create a really nice fun texture over it. Now for the mushroom, it's a similar thing. We're going to use some light brown and add in the colors. We're going to build this up as well. If you notice, the best part about the mushroom is the small details which I have used in ink. So it plays a really important role to bring it to life. I hope you had a really good time today watching the tutorials of how to do these beautiful fruits. Do try the eggplant and cabbage by yourself and the rest as well and uh, let me know how you find it.